I could be that sure of the weather, I'd be the richest man in the country just predicting it for wagon trains. Did they know what happened to me last year? No. The way you felt about it, I figured it was up to you. Either tell them or keep it to yourself. Thanks. I'm not proud of it. You did what you had to do, and what you'll have to do again. If it happens this time. It isn't gonna happen this time. Not this time. Well, they're waiting for you, Flint. Thanks for setting them up. Good luck. See you in about two weeks. You sure everything's all set? Any time. Roll them! Come on, move them out! these people can't go to Sacramento like everybody else. What's the matter with you? This trip, what's the matter with me? I've even heard that Flint's not anxious to make it again after last year. Charlie, don't let your imagination run away with you. Nothing happened to Flint last year. I know better than that. Why, did he tell you so? Well, not exactly, but every time I talked to him about it, he just gave me a funny look and rode away. If something happened to him, why didn't you stop and say so? Answer me that. Warning sign. Yeah, it's a warning against trespassers. Trespassing on what? The lowlands. They begin right over there. Gee, I wish we didn't have to go in there. So do I. Think these things mean trouble? No, I don't think so. One of them's a chief. Yeah, it should be Bear Claw. There's a tribe that camps here along the lowlands. They're friendly. Brave Sea Wagon, tell me, I come to warn friend about Swamp Devil. What do you mean, Swamp Devil? The evil spirit now lives in lowland swamps. Has the spirit attacked your tribe? Not attack. What does the spirit look like? These eyes cannot see evil spirit, only man and animal. Well, if you can't see it, how do you know it's there? Bear Claw here. My people here. Sometimes high sounds. Sometimes low sounds. Sometimes many sounds together. The sounds of evil spirit. Swamp devil, you not go. Thank you for the warning. Bear Claw, glad he stopped White Brother. Huh? He. Take it easy, Charlie. You don't believe in spirits, do you? Uh, except the kind maybe you find in a bottle. Why do you think the Indians thought they heard, Flint? That's hard to say. Wind in the trees, couple of branches rubbing together. Well, let's get going. We're wasting time. You gonna let us in on it? Let you in on what? What Bear Claw had to say? Does that have anything to do with what happened when he came through here last year? If it did, I'd tell you. By golly, Charlie, you're right. Flint's got something on his mind. Something that happened the last time he was through here. I don't care what happened on the last trip through here. What's worrying me is what's going to happen on this trip. Charlie, you don't believe that... Oh, forget it.
stop here and rest the stock. Yeah, it is a little rough going for him, ain't it? You might pass the word to the folks. They'll make it easier on their stock if they get off and walk. Yes, sir. Where's Flint going? He didn't say. He's not saying much about anything lately, is he? I reckon he thinks it's none of our business, whatever he's got on his mind. Charlie doesn't seem a little dark to you for this time of the day. Yeah, you can hardly see up through them trees. Yeah, I figure it's about noon. The sun ought to be high enough to shine down through it. Maybe it's cloudy. No, it couldn't be rain clouds. Too early for the wet season. Mr. Chris said that, and so did Flint, didn't he? Yeah, so they did. Yeah. Well, come on. Flint said we're going to hold up here and get the stock some rest, so let's tell him. water pilot so fast in my life. Charlie, this ground is wet to start with. All that rain comes rolling off those mountains and comes right into lowlands. I wonder what's keeping clean. I don't know, but he's been staying to himself most of the time anyway. I don't think this rain will change things. comes now. Well, it's about time. He's being paid to get us through here, and he's been gone since before it started raining. Well, he's back, isn't he? Couldn't possibly rain, he said. We're two weeks ahead of the wet season. Now, I wonder what he's going to say now. I want you people to unload your wagons. Everything comes out that you don't absolutely need for survival. Now, wait just I a don't minute. want any argument, Harris. I'll make this as clear as I possibly can. You people haven't got a chance of getting these wagons out of the swamp unless they're practically empty. You'll find that out for yourself in an hour, but why waste the time? We would rather wait. You'll do it now. Flint, take it easy. You know anything about this swamp? Nope, never been through it before. Now look, I ain't leaving my belongings unless I'm forced to. Then I'll oblige you, Harris. I don't know what's the matter with you, but I will not be made to suffer because of it. You haven't been the same since we left the wagon train. The others have noticed it, too. We're not animals you can order about. We don't have to stay with you. If you want to get out of this swamp alive, you do. Perhaps we'd prefer to take the chance. I, for one, will leave the protection of the wagon train before These I... These wagons stay them. together. All the possessions I have in the world... stay together. I will do what my judgment tells me you to do. You will your toe. I paid money to travel with this train. I'm not asking for any of it back. But you are no longer responsible for me. Get it through your head. I am no longer with your train. Now, if this is what you want, you got it. These wagons stay together and every man stays with his wagon. And when you get out of the swamp, you can do what you please, but until then, you'll do what you're told. Now, unload your wagon.
on the right side of that big Come on, Come on, Come on Tiki, move him. Yeah. Yeah. up ahead, we'll camp there for the night, pass the word. What do you say? Charlie. I think I better help Bill, man. You know, I don't think I like this place much. I don't see how anybody could like it, Charlie, after wading through that water all day. Oh, wait, that I kind of got a feeling that too. That what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Go on, I won't make fun of you. And you got that feeling too. You mean like uh, we're being watched? That's it. Ever since we come into this place, I've had a feeling we've been watched and followed. I've been waiting every minute to hear that noise that Bearclaw told us about. Not still thinking about evil spirits, are you? Well, aren't you? You said that. I said that I had a feeling we were being watched, maybe by animals or Indians. I don't believe those stories about the swamp devil. Well, anyway, the sooner we get out of here, the better it'll suit me. Yeah, I... Him, too. I wish I knew what was ailing him. Yeah, I can't understand why he doesn't tell us, Charlie. You know, we can't uh, help him if he doesn't let us know. Well, anyway, he was right. We told those people to unload their wagons. We wouldn't have gotten as far as we did if he hadn't. Yeah, but it's the way he went about it. You know, those people are still pretty mad at him. Are you? I don't know, Charlie. I'd be obliged if you weren't. I've been doing a lot of thinking, Bill, and... Well, I've been pretty sure with you. I want to say I'm sorry. I had a lot on my mind. Sometimes things happen to you. I guess they happen to everybody. Things that you'd rather not talk about. Or something like that happened to me. Right here in the swamp a year ago, I've been trying to forget it ever since. Then it did have something to do with what Bearclaw said, didn't it? No, Charlie, I don't like to disappoint you, but there's no connection. I have the vaguest idea what Bearclaw was talking about. Who knows what an Indian superstition might be. Now, the thing that happened to me was very real. Hear that? Just what Bearclaw said. Long, high noise, and a long, low noise. That's that swamp devil, all right. You can bet on that. Swamp devil. That's what it is. The Indian tried to warn us. Oh, well, Mrs. Harris, you know that there isn't such a thing. Then what is it? Bill, no animal ever made a sound like that. What is it? Uh, yeah. Well, all right, folks. Just be quiet and listen. Did we ever come to this godforsaken place? No place is godforsaken, Mrs. Harris. He's just testing our faith. Charlie? Oh, stop it! Don't do that. You scared me to death. Where's Flint? Oh, he went off out there somewhere. Better go see what he's up to. Wait a minute. He said to wait right here, and that's good enough for me. I'm not going out there with that swamp devil running around loose. Will you quit talking about that swamp devil all the time? Yeah, but maybe you better ask Flint what he thinks now. Just before he took off, he said maybe he was wrong. Maybe what happened to him that last trip did have something to do with what Bearclaw said. Hm. How do you like that?
Hear that? Well, what do you got to say about it? Well, that's a swamp devil, Charlie. Sure, taking a lot of music lessons sometimes. Then why did my cat... Oh, hold on, the rest of you be quiet. Just use your heads and listen. That's music you're hearing. It's not some mysterious, unexplainable noise. It's just plain old organ music. That music's made by hands, by two human hands. Bill, that's so easy to explain. What's an organ doing out in this swamp? Evil spirit or not, that's what Chief Bearclaw heard. And he's been hearing it for a year. Now, how do you explain that? Well, ma'am, I can't right now. McCullough's out there, and there's an answer, he'll find it. When he gets back, we'll know what it is. And all the rest of you can quit acting like a bunch of dang fools. Come on. Yeah. Go look for him, Charlie. Out there in the dark tonight? Yeah, out there in the dark tonight. Come on. Well, we're gonna go in pairs and we'll split up and go in different directions. I want you women to stay here and keep this fire going good and bright so we can find our way back. Well, let's get started. Morning soon enough, Bill. You won't even see anything out there tonight. You should have had more sense than to wander off like a green one. Are you saying that you don't want to go looking for him? You expect me to care what happens to Makello? After what he did to me? So that's it, huh? You're all still holding a grudge. Well, I want to tell you something. Flint was right. And if you had any sense, you know that you wouldn't be sitting here right now if he'd let you had your own way. Instead, you've been back there a few miles with water up to your wagon beds. It ain't that we wouldn't want to go looking for him, Bill, but... You can't find anything out there in the dark anyhow. What do you expect to find sitting around this campfire? There won't even be a trail. A swamp bottom like this will swallow up a man's track as soon as he makes them. Besides, he might come walking back in here in any minute. 
And here we'd be out there in the dark, splashing around, doing no good at all except getting wet again. Come morning, why, we ain't here. We'll go looking for him. Well, I can't force you to go with me. But you better hope that we find him. Because we don't stand a chance getting out of this swamp without McCullough. He's the only one that knows the way. Come on, Charlie. Before you do that again, warn me. You be quiet. What are you trying to do, make a nervous wreck out of me? Charlie, how do you expect me to hear Flynn ask me if you keep on talking like this? I'm afraid to quit talking, afraid of what I'll hear. Why don't you forget about that swamp devil and those evil spirits for about five minutes, will you? I wish I could. And I wish Flynn had finished what he had to say before he left. He knew something about that swamp devil, and I know he did. And I wish I knew what it was. Bill! 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 Cut it out, Charlie, I'm over here. Doggone it, why didn't you say so? Looks like we found something. Yeah. There's a good chance that Flint made that mark. It's still fresh. Pointing that way, too. Maybe it's some more over here. Yeah, why don't you go take a look? All right. After you. You got the lantern. Mark was back with the trees anymore. You know what beats me is why he quit making those marks. What beats me is what he came out of here for in the first place. Bill, 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 cut it out. That's why he came out here, Charlie. It ain't the same day, Dory. Shh, be quiet. I bet that swamp devil's got a whole orchestra out here. You know, if you'd simmer down for about a minute, maybe we could find out where that music's coming from. It'd surprise me if you started playing banjo next. <laughs> Come on, it's over that way. Yep. Yeah. I thought you'd see me again, did you? I knew you'd be back in a year. I would have waited ten. Come on. Up you go. That's it. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry. After all, I wouldn't want to hurt you. <laughs> You're going to do that for yourself. Stand there, McCullough. How long do you think it will be before your knees turn to rubber and finally you have to give up? And there you are, hanging by the rope. You don't know what you're doing. You killed my wife. You killed her. Now you're going to kill yourself. Oh. How Anna used to love to hear me play. She used to sit for hours and listen. 
never wanted me to stop. Just one more, Joshua, she'd say. One more, please. Oh, how Anna loved music. She was a gentle soul. A poet soul, really. This was one of her favorites. Thank you, thank you, my good friends. But no more tonight, huh? Please. No, I'm afraid Josh was right. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. I think we all better get some rest. No, but gentlemen, gentlemen, wait a minute. Remember, you promised if I'd play, you'd return the piano to the wagon. That's right, Fred. You did promise, remember? <laughs> Flint, just how bad is this lowland? Well, I'm not sure. I've always been through here before, before the rainy season hit, but the rains are early this year. I'm afraid the lowlands look more like a swamp. I'm carrying a lot of weight, you know. You think it might be too much? No, we'll get you through if it's humanly possible. That's good enough for me, Flint. Thanks. Good night. Good night, Flint. before we try. Of course we're gonna try. All right, let's put a shoulder to the wheel. When I get the word, you get up there and drive the horses. Say, hold, look up. All right. Ready? Your team's still good and strong. Suppose you hook them up up ahead of my mares. They can do it. I'd sure like to help you, Joshua, but my team's got about all they can handle as it is. Even after I dumped my plow out of waste back there. Frank. I'm afraid my woman wouldn't take much to it, seeing as you had to leave her cooking range behind when we bogged down. Isn't anybody going to help me? Sure, we'll help you. Unload your wagon the way everybody else is doing. Joshua, I'm afraid we haven't seen the woods of this swamp yet. You. You can't ask these people to wear out their own horses. That'd jeopardize their own chances of getting out of here. They're not hauling anything of value. It's a value to them. Why, for the price I can get for one piano, I could buy every wagon here, everything that's in them. That includes the horses, too. Well, why don't you try and make that deal right now? Maybe I will. I'll buy a team. Yes, sir. 
All right, the first man who steps up owns half that piano in there. Leave your own wagon behind. You can buy five new ones for that much money when we get out of here. Is what you've got of that much value? All right, half the organ, too. Well, don't be fools! We're not fools, Joshua. That's just what we're not. Toby! Frank! Satisfy me? Joshua, please, there's no other way. Anna, you watched me make them with my own hands. For two years, you saw me put together piece by piece the two finest instruments ever created by a man. They're our stake in the future, something to start a whole new life on. You can make others. You said you could help me. You said we could get through. I said if it was humanly possible, Joshua, it isn't. It is! You're in command of these wagons. You can make them help me. I've done the best I can do. I'll dismantle them. We'll shuttle them out piece by piece, reassemble them later. Be reasonable, will you? That'd take weeks. I can't hold the wagons up that long. You're responsible. You've got to get me through. I'm responsible for everybody on this train, and I'll get you through the swamp if you'll dump the equipment that's too heavy to carry. I'll stay here first. I'll not leave my life's work behind. Get ready to roll the wagons. You better try and talk some sense into them. I'm not going to wait any longer. George, George, Joshua, not this! Why don't you go with them? You're against me, too, like all the rest. Where could I ever go without you? Go on, get away from me. <laughs> get ready to run! <laughs> I said run! died a week later of swamp fever. And you killed her. You left her to rot in this miserable, stinking place. Left her to die with a rope round her neck. Just as sure as this one round yours now. It would have been kinder to end her life with a bullet. As I could do for you now. But you're going to wait as she did. And know that death is coming. And that there's no escaping it. But you could have escaped. You chose to stay here. You, you traded your wife's life for your piano. Don't you say that. Oh. Oh. The truth hurts, doesn't it? You've had a whole year to hide from the truth buried in this forest while you waited for me. Accusing me won't justify what you did. For a long time, nothing did. I must have asked myself a thousand times if I left you here because I was angry. But that was only part of it. A wagon train is like a chain. It's no stronger than the weakest link. And you were the weak link, Joshua. Because you wanted me to risk everybody for your own greed. You've rationalized everything very satisfactorily for yourself, haven't you? There's no satisfaction in risking a man's life. My mistake was staying within the limit. Within the limitations of my command. What limitations are there in having power over life and death? I was in command only as long as you people chose to accept that command. I didn't have the right to force you to leave your property behind and come with me, but I should have taken that right. That was my mistake, but that was my only mistake. You knew we didn't have a chance. Then how did you get so far from where we left you and with your prized possessions? Piece by piece, I dismantled them. Carried them here on my own back. Then you did have a chance. Don't you see, I hope when you realize what a fool you'd have been, you'd have left your piano behind. 
because you could have gotten out of the swamp. You might have lost your way for a while, but you had your supplies. You could have gotten out. But you chose to stay here with your piano. That's your mistake, not mine. Uh. You're going to die, Mr. McCullough. And right here, in this swamp, where my Anna died. You better turn that lantern out, Charlie. What for? Because we're running low on fuel, and besides, we won't need any light for sitting until that music starts again or it gets daylight. You can sit here in the dark and like it. I can sit there in the dark, but I won't like it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Give me that. You'll be sorry. Get over. After we go, be sure to keep this fire smoking. That's the only way we'll be able to find our way back. If you're able to. No, Nancy. But Bill Hawks nor Charlie Wooster didn't get back, nor Flint neither. Well, we were wrong to let him go out at night. No chance of anything but getting lost in this swamp. We should have gone with him. We shouldn't have let our anger keeping us from doing what we knew. That's right. You're right, Otto. Don't worry. We'll find him. Let's go. Don't worry now. Huh? Let's go. I've decided to give your departing spirit wings of music. Get your whiskers out of my face, you old goat. Listen, Charlie. Piano started again. Yeah, it ain't far away, neither is it. Come on. It's coming from over here. Let's go. Over there, eh? Yeah, come on. Yeah, but we're not the only ones that hear them. Hey, the piano stopped. Why do they have to start yelling right on top of that music? Well, we can find it now anyway, can't we? Besides, I'm dead. It's not dark anymore. Well, just keep your eyes open for a man, not evil spirit. Come on. Don't you get your hopes up, McCullough? Even if they did know where we were, getting up here is another thing. And they're too far away to find us anyway.
banged if I could see any place around here he could hide the pie in. Well, it seems like there ought to be a wagon or a shack or something around here. Yeah, you just can't put a pie in under all this water and play it too. You try to call out to them, you might not live long enough to find out whether it did any good. Swamp, where would you live? Favors. Warning. Let's go in. shot to hit me and miss him? The piano! Shoot the piano! No! The piano. 